I'm Rakti Hawa Brakata, Yahusha, Brakti Hawa Brakata, Yahusha Bashin, Rakakwadash, the honor to the apostles, the elders. Salutations to you, sincere brothers, teaching and truth. And in sincerity, this lesson will be entitled At David Banner, CC the Non Elect. Lord will, you are edified. Right now, um, yeah, one more thing. I'm a little bit upset right now. Um, a lot of people get mad at me because I say that I don't believe that Jesus is coming back. Let me tell you something. If, if I was Jesus and my father gave you power to do for yourself and you sat around for thousands of years waiting on me to come back, I wouldn't have no respect for you you waiting on me for i gave you the power to do the same things that i did and you did nothing even if jesus were to come back why would he want to save you he gave you everything inside of you to save yourself and you did nothing so if you do believe in jesus and you think he's coming back you better hurry up and get your shit together i'm sorry y'all and this is an example of the ignorant, all right, due to lack of faith. All right, Romans chapter 3 and 3. For what if some did not believe? Hence, David Banner, all right, shall their unbelief make the faith of the Most High without effect. So just because David Banner and the non-elect of Israel do not believe that Yahweh Shai is returning, that doesn't mean that's going to hinder prophecy. Okay? That does not stop prophecy. Just like Yahweh Shah has a role. So does David Banner. And the script at this time for him is for him not to believe. Okay? Second Ezra 15 and verse 1. Behold, speak you in the ears of my people, my people, Israelites, so-called Negroes, so-called Hispanics and so called Native Americans based on the lineage of our fathers, the words of prophecy, all right, and only the holy scriptures contain the words of prophecy, which I will put in your mouth, said the Lord Yahweh, via the Holy Spirit, working with that prophet to prophesy the words of prophecy. Verse 2, and cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. Verse 3, fear not the imaginations such as Yahweh Shah is not returning against you. Let not the incredulity, meaning their unbelief of them, trouble you that speak against you. Verse 4. For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. One more thing. I'm a little. And this is our case example for this lesson. Okay. Again, Second Ezra 15 and 4. For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and 15. But it shall come to pass if you will not listen unto the voice of the Lord Yahweh, your power to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command you this day, that all these curses 
meaning indignation, righteous anger shall come on you and overtake you. Who? Israelites. Okay. Verse 15. Now let's jump to verse 68. And the Lord Yahweh shall bring you into Egypt again, modern day America, with ships, literal. By the way whereof I spake unto you prophecy, you shall see it no more again, our land. And there, America, you shall be sold unto your enemies, Edomites, so-called white people, based on the lineage of their fathers. For bondmen, meaning slaves, and bond women meaning slaves and no man shall buy you and this means what no man can save us from the captivity of Esau Baruch 3 and 8. Behold, we are yet this day. All right. And we can apply this prophecy to our present time in our captivity. Literal. All right. Esau's rulership is our captivity, is our hell. Where you have scattered us. For a reproach, meaning shame, and a curse, and to be subject to payments according to all the iniquities, meaning wickedness, of our fathers, which departed from the Lord our power. So we are yet this day in our captivity, David Banner. And you are subject to payments. You have a driver license. You have to pay taxes. You have a social security number. You have to drive with a seatbelt. Right? You need a passport to travel. And eventually, you will be tempted with Revelation, the 13th chapter. So save your black ass from that. Okay? And no man shall buy you. This means what? I can't save you. I can't save us. You can't save me. You can't save us. Right? Only Yahweh Shai. That's an objective. That the Most High gave him to fulfill at the allotted time. Matthew 1 and 21. And she, referring to Mary, shall bring forth a son, and you shall call his name Yahweh Shai. All right. This is an example of what? A nomen omen, which means name prediction. For he shall save his people from their sins, David Banner, at David Banner, CC, the non-elect, okay? Isaiah 63 and verse 1, who is this that come from Edom with diet, diet, it's like you dyed garments from Basra. Basra is modern day America. This that is glorious in his apparel, meaning what? Yahweh will return in a gigantic fathership, in a huge chariot of Israel. Now Esau claims them to be UFOs, unidentified flying objects. However, the Holy Scriptures via the Holy Spirit gives these give these vehicles an identity. Okay. Traveling in the greatness of his strength, I that speak in righteousness mighty 
to save. Now the Holy Spirit was on Isaiah to prophesy the second coming of Yahweh Shai. And we are approaching this time frame if you can receive it. Acts 1 and 9. And when he had spoken these things, Yahweh shot. While they beheld the disciples, he was taken up, Yahweh shot, via that searchlight from their chariot. That chariot literally beamed him up, and a cloud, a chariot, received him out of their sight. Verse 10. And while they looked steadfastly toward heaven as he went up, behold, two men, angels, stood by them in white apparel, which also said, You men of Galilee, why stand you gazing up into heaven? This same Yahweh, which is taken up from you into heaven, shall so come in like manner. Meaning what? He's coming back the same way. As you have seen him go into heaven. So yes, he's returning. Luke chapter 18 and verse 6. And the Lord said, our Lord Yahweh Shai, hear what the unjust judge said. And he, it's like, and shall not the Most High avenge his own elect? Only the elect of Israel will be saved during Yahweh second coming, which cry day and night unto him, though he bear along with them. Verse 8, I tell you that he will avenge them speedily when all prophecies are fulfilled. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man come, shall he find faith on the earth. Faith, which is a gift given to us. By Yahweh, through Yahweh Shah to believe. And bit if you have right a now. mindset such as this fool, and if you or he don't repent, you are going to die. At David Banner, CC, the non elect of Israel. Lord, will you were edified, Shalom.